AWT stands for Abstract Windows Toolkit. The AWT contains numerous classes and methods that allow you to create and manage graphical user, for user interface. The main purpose of the AWT is to support applet windows. It can also be used to create standalone windows that run in a GUI environment such as Windows. Most of the examples are contained in applets, so to run them, you need to use an applet viewer or Java compatible web browser. The AWT classes are contained in the java.awt package. It is one of the Java's largest packages. AWT is logically organized in a top-down hierarchical fashion. Therefore, it is easier to understand and use. There are a lot more classes in AWT package. We discuss few. AWT event. It, it encapsulates AWT events, AWT event multicaster, dispatches events to multiple listeners. Border layout. The border layout manager. The border layouts use five components. North to set border in the north, south to set border in the south, east to set the border in the east of the layout, west to set border in the west of layout and center to set the content in the center. Another class is button. It creates, it creates a push button control. Now let us consider an example my frame can see Java. I imported button class, frame class, grid layout class, label class, text field class. These classes are contained in AWT package. I have a class named my frame which extends frame. You can see I have created two labels L1 and L2, two text fields TF1 and TF2 and a button. Grid layout is used to set the layout. I have three columns and two rows. I mean I have three rows and two columns. First field is for rows and second field is for columns. To set the layout I must use set layout and then reference of this grid layout. I have assigned name to two labels number one and number two. I have assigned a text field object to TF1 and TF2 and a button to B. Now I need to add all these components in the form. I will use add to add them. Now I have to set size of the frame. I have set 200 by 200 and set visible through so that we can see the frame. I have put all this content in a constructor my frame so that they can be initialized at the time when program is run. Now I just created an object new my frame. Now let me run this program. You can see an frame. It consists of two labels number one and number two. It consists of three rows and two columns. First column and first row contains number one as L1 was first component to be added. You can see two labels number one, number two, two text fields this one and this one you can type anything in these text fields and a button 